Your Holiness, we thank you for your wisdom and advice all, all this while. And we really request your thoughts on a two-part question. As we move towards our long-term goals of integrating science into the ancient traditions of Buddhist education, Your Holiness, do you have any concerns that science education could have a negative impact on the traditions of monastic education? And second, in Your Holiness's view, what impact would such a program have on humanity? Firstly, I really impressed uh, with a short period. I think, uh, I think effort from concerned people, I think really, I think brought some sort of concrete plan. Uh, this is wonderful, wonderful. Uh, actually, I didn't expect <laughs> when we, you see, uh, have some what is it, a nice talk at Dharamsala. I just expressed this is my sort of wish. I didn't expect <laughs> this kind of deficit program you see, happen. So I very much appreciate. I believe our work as a second sort of question, second part of the question, right? Uh, I believe the, the Western science or modern science, I think mainly concerned about external matters. And then Buddhist science. really was it a, uh, was it a, uh, deal with our inner world, or our mind, or emotion, these things. So usually I make <coughs> sort of a uh, distinction, Buddhism and Buddhist science. Buddhism uh, involves uh, concept of next life, or concept of Nirvana and Buddhahood. That's, uh, I think, for the time being, nothing to do with modern science. <laughs> uh, so, the uh, Buddhist science, Buddhist philosophy, or Buddhist concept, then Buddhist practice, three part. So, we are dealing with modern science in the field of Buddhist science. So Buddhist science, of course, the, uh, ultimately the purpose of Buddhist science is purify our mind uh, up to Buddhahood. Therefore, the Buddhist science much deal with our emotions. I think, generally speaking, quite precise sort of recognition, what different kind of emotion and then the very nature of these emotions and its causes and conditions and how to tackle these emotions. I think that part, uh, I think in modern science or even, uh, I think modern science or in the modern uh, education field, I think that's lacking. Uh, uh, so actually, the many people, I think, uh, sharing uh, the share the same view uh, with me. That is, the in modern education system, of course, uh, my, uh, I, I myself is never attend <laughs> the in modern uh, the modern school. <laughs> so of course. Uh, I am full sort of as a day, ignorant person, <laughs> so not worthwhile, not as worthy to make comment. <laughs> but however, you see the uh, the or see the 
that those society or country were not lacking about modern education, uh, it seems a lot of troubles, a lot of mental crisis. Uh, uh, so that is the indication, something lacking. Material facilities is a fully sort of uh, fully developed. Yet, you see, uh, even some 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 or let's say maybe okay. <laughs> you see, even some chancellor. <laughs> I met you see some uh, many many universities sort of I I. I visit sort of different universities. So this is some chancellor. I say, of course, very good educated, and all the facilities, all the, how say they, fame away. Ah, <coughs> and respected sort of position, wonderful. But as a person, deep insight, very unhappy person. I notice. So that indicates uh, modern education uh, in certain field a bit neglected. <coughs> now here, when we talk about our inner value, that naturally involves about mind, about emotion. So in Buddhist tradition, in Buddhist science, as I mentioned earlier, it's a quite rich sort of information about that. So that can be, I think, helpful to humanity. Uh, not teaching as a Buddhism, but rather Buddhist science. This is common for everybody, isn't it? Uh, uh, this is my sort of answer for your uh, second question. The first question, I don't think any negative impact except already uh, some impact in my mind, whether that's negative or positive, uh, yet to decide. That, is, that means I already reject the, cos the cosmology, the world, uh, cosmology, and some Buddhist text is mentioned, world flat, and in the center, Mount Miru, uh, and suns and moons, the same level, and goes round. Yeah, watch it, dear. And uh, <coughs> clockwise. Mm, so, uh, according to this text, uh, sun and moon are on the same level, and they go, um, turn around the Mount Meru clockwise. So maybe they are also accumulating merits, because traditionally. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, uh, this sort of. Or say the description in certain text, I already reject. I don't believe uh, that can be considered a negative impact <laughs> <laughs> to some sort of pe some scholar who really you see, believe you see, these things. Then they may see there is a negative impact. But in actually, that's negative or positive. I don't know. <laughs> I feel uh, positive that we get uh, closer to the reality. And the Buddha himself made very clear uh, that finally uh, the point which you accept should come through your own experiment and investigation rather than relying on quotation of Buddha's own words. It's marvelous. So I think with that sort of Buddhist, Buddhist sort of teaching, like Nagarjuna and the many uh, the, the Nalanda masters, you see, I think they took the liberty, you see, uh, or say they investigate Buddha's own word. This word is Kasoda, authentic. Mm. Definitive. Oh, ka. Definitive. Uh -uh. No, any sort of contradictory with our experience or reasons or logics. This teaching, 
goes contradictory with reasons or logics. So we have to interpret it, interpret it different way. So I, I carry that spirit. Investigation, experiment, uh, and then finding some, some, something so you found through investigation and through reasoning, that should be uh, the reality, a fact. So I don't think any negative impact. And the science level of Kaduri, Sanzo Soja, Zeng Sheng Zeng Xiaorun, Jie Womaru, Love you. Of course, as, you know, as, as part of the science education curriculum, uh, it doesn't involve having nightclubs and musics and so on. <laughs> <laughs> if that's part of science education, then some negative impact. So I really appreciate all your effort and as I mentioned earlier, I think since within short period you already you see, uh, achieve a clear picture of how to carry our program. So uh, that's I think almost like guarantee. Now next long term program will be uh, uh, success, successful. So thank you very much.